of a non-crime over the radio? Have you bumped your head on a donut hole? Did you trip on a donut sprinkle this morning? Do you have diabetes? Do you mind taking a field sobriety test? What's up, yo? Uh, White Horse Pike. Pikers. White Horse Pike. Alright, so we passed this place and they had people pulled out of the car and they were searching the trunk. <clears throat> we parked up and it's already on a tow truck right now. He left before the car was secured. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Is, is this wow. normal for, for y'all to have cops the like this? Yeah, cars. they run away a lot. <laughs> I, 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 I'd never <laughs> seen this though. I'd never <laughs> seen them leave before the car was towed. Yeah, yeah. the car was not even completely He ran gone. away. He ran the away. car was not even completely settled and he's out of here, man. Yeah. He's, 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 and they had two people pulled out of the car before we, we parked. We, we only parked right, like over there, so yeah, yeah. that was quick. Yeah, it was. Damn, we got here a little late for that one, but wow. there's well, plenty. It, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. definitely okay. fun. So here, here. Lady, Lady Justice and Press On and Leslie Sylvan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The people win again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that didn't take Ooh. long. We just walked up and they bounced, but we did that. You know, they had they had uh, persons in their car. Yeah. In their custody, they just bounced out that quick. Yeah. Uh, so at least they the noticed the somebody had again? their back. What's up? The name of the city again? This is Lindenwall. Lindenwall. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is Lindenwall. Yeah, yeah. Press on. Press on. Press on. Ow. All right, guys. What's up? I'm out here with a uh, press on and Lady Justice Liberty Press. And yeah, yeah. Leslie Sylvan's behind us. We we saw these cops chilling here, prowling. See, second one, we saw him, and then this guy happened fresh right here in front of us. We were just waiting to see who we picked. Lady Justice. Ah, I got it on camera. Here we have Barrington, please. These people just got pulled over, so we're catching everything from start to finish.
Lady Justice Liberty Press is getting some questions asked over there. separate thing going on over here. I don't know what that's, what that's all going on over there is. This guy, he's so happy. He's like, he's like, yes, it's happening to us. Him too. Chuckles. We got chuckles over here. What is that thing saying? You hear that radio call? She's probably got it crystal clear on hers. Her famous. <laughs> <laughs> Let her get her video over there. The cop, the cops are. Bunch of fucking babies, man. You put a report of a non-crime over the radio? Have you bumped your head on a donut hole? Did you trip on a donut sprinkle this morning? Do you have diabetes? Do you mind taking a field sobriety test? Oh, wow. I know, that's the, that's the weirdest radio call. I can't wait to hear what it, what it sounds like on hers. So there was another one down here, but I guess, I guess that's a different, I think that's a different town. I don't know if he's still parked up over there waiting to pick somebody up, but there's somebody down there too. These two over here are exchanging numbers. They're gonna talk later for like three hours. <clears throat> That's the quickest stop ever. Right? Their investigation is over, it seems. I know. What's up with our radio call? What's up with the radio call? What was that about? Huh? Is that in the policy to have a to to, to say things like that over the radio? Yeah, I let them know. Is it work related? Yes. Yeah. Not any good, bud. I'm just letting you guys know. Verbally, that's not cool. Makes you guys look like punks. What was the initial yeah. stop for here? What was the initial stop here? Just confess. Just think about it. Reflect on the officer. That's all we asked. He's not having a. Makes him look like punk yeah, bitches. Yeah. He's having a bad night, this guy. First Amendment. Oh. Freedom of speech. I think they're doing the same thing over the radio again. But yeah, yeah, what's this guy about? Let's see. If he can comment. This guy loves it. He loves it. Hey. 
Oh, okay. Oh, so they're sitting so, in Barrington and then doing stops there in one side. Yeah, I guess they've seen their fraction in Barrington. And yeah, yeah. Over so right on the board. Yeah, right on the board. Okay. All right. Well, how's your evening going? Oh, well. Oh, well. No oh, well. oh, well. complaints, man. Excuse me. I'm yeah, I like your attitude so much better, man. They, <laughs> so, they need to act like you guys over well, we're, we're Barrington. Are you the same guys that were, uh, uh, out at UBS a couple years back? Don't, don't, don't. I my news. Virginia, Come right? on, you're a public servant. You don't need to put your hand in your front of your I face. I put my anywhere I want. Right. You're not my employer, How sir. How much you want to bet? I pay, I pay your money taxes. Out. I pay taxes. Oh, that means I need a raise. You don't give me a raise? No. Oh, okay. okay. You need okay. a fucking deduction. Okay, you need sir. Have Thank your, you. Your salary cut in half, motherfucker. Thank you. Who you think you're talking Thank to? Thank you. You have ID? No, I need it. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't make a mistake, sir. Do not make a mistake. Are you a German? This is not Nazi Germany. I can say whatever the fuck I want. This What's is Nazi this Germany? Is he said. He doesn't know. Okay, that means what? That means I don't need ID. I don't need yeah, papers do. to travel. You can't just walk around. Using How much you want to bet? Of course we can. It's called freedom of speech. Put some money on the table. Put it. Put it. You want to bet your job on it? You want to bet your job on it? Bet your job on it. This guy is out of his brain and he has a gun on his hip. I mean, this dude should not even be working here. You definitely need a drug test to for crack. Uh, I've been a lot of places and stuff, but one thing I'd never do is answer questions. We ask the questions around here. We're real interested in what you guys are doing, okay. right? You know, you're a matter of great public interest. Okay. You know, obviously the, the people care when they're stopping and reporting what you're doing. But it doesn't mean that, you know, they're out to get you or anything. Yeah. Right? But I've got radio call was really disturbing talking about there's four cameras here trying to bait officers and Oh, you heard it? Oh, you heard it? Oh, heard it? Oh, they wanted, us, they wanted us, to us to hear it. To hear it. So yeah. Yeah, it's just unnecessary. A report of a non-crime in the war here to guys. We need to be really special. And, um, you know, things could go bad for you just like they could go bad for us. More cameras is not, is not a problem. Yeah, they're, take, they're taking down all the cop shows, so nobody can really, the live PD, they took that down. They're taking everything down. There's, there's Somebody has to hit the streets and do it, you know? Yeah. So, so you. It's the first time I've ever seen you guys out here. Right. So you're, so you're long side. So you, get, you wouldn't know about what that initial stop was for. Because no they're Barrington. Okay. Yeah, I have no clue. Gotcha. Yeah. They wouldn't answer for us. They, you're, you're a lot friendlier than they. They are. They didn't want to talk. They laughed at us like we were Bad a joke. Attitude. We just. Bad attitude. Attitude is everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it can make or break. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, this, this isn't normal. So it, it may. It may shock some people, you know what I mean? Well, why isn't it normal? Because well, people you know, walk it, up to me every day and say hi, they start conversations. Well, if it's not that's, normal, like, that's like me coming to your place and recording you. No, it's not the same. Well, it's not. Well, I'm just saying, well, it's, it's, it's a little bit abnormal. Do you ever have, like, bystanders at its no, call? We're the owner. We're the, the owner and we hire you. We're, we're, so you're at our place of work. We're, we're pretty much bystanders on the call, at the call. You ever had, like, nosy people that aren't recording, just, like, Want to know what's going on in front of their house or mm -hmm. down or on, on the sidewalk? They stop to watch it. That's pretty much what we're doing, just with cameras. Yeah, but it's not the same as going to somebody's work because you're at our work. It's, we hire I don't know who done it. That's not you guys. No, okay. no. no. no but we're in it should be normal. Well, the, you know, uh, sure. people <laughs> should feel I didn't get the memo. Um, safe to go up to an officer to approach them to um, be interested in what you're doing, right? Um, generally, I would think, you know, okay, if you see a bunch of officers, well, that, that should be a safe place. But in this day and age, it's actually a dangerous place, you know what I mean? Like, um, I mean, I just saw a video yesterday where a guy was just walking up on the sidewalk and he literally had a taser pointed at him, you know, and was arrested for hindering just for happening to walk up where there was a traffic stop, you know, he's on the sidewalk, right? Like, if there's a traffic stop right there and somebody's walking along right. the sidewalk, there's obviously not a problem. You know what hindering is, right? You know, if you have tape up or something, that's different, but obviously the world goes on. Uh, it would have to stop you from, it would have to physically stop you from investigating. It, I'd have to physically obstruct you from point A to point B of what you have to do of your, in your duties. And just being merely on a sidewalk, you know, it's not hindering any investigation because because your attention is taken away because of a camera.
Okay, if you stop somebody on, on the side, the road's not closed next to you and the sidewalk's not closed. Traffic goes by on both sides. Yeah, I wasn't there, so I can't no, speak on it. No, you know, every day when you and pull somebody that, over for yeah. a traffic stop, I'm just talking in general rule of thumb. I got you. When you pull somebody over for a traffic stop, you haven't closed down the sidewalk or the road next to it, right? If you want to, you can, certainly, but you need to close it, right? You put cones out in the road, you, you know, you put uh, caution tape across the sidewalk or something like that. But if it's not closed, it's not closed. I mean, right. you have to have consideration, right. right? You can't just have some magic line that nobody can see. And, oh, you crossed it, now you're a criminal. Yeah, and then of course, police lines are, happens. and police lines, you know, they're, they're, they're really only there to preserve the scene, preserve evidence, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. right. yeah, so evidence. just to merely put it up just because you want privacy when you have a traffic stop or something that... That's an that, abuse uh, of That using would have been an abuse, yeah. ...is what it boils down to. And yeah, the, the people is are seeing that, is not. just to let you know, the people are seeing that abuse. So like we just pretty much going around passing out educa uh, education to uh, cops, you know, yeah. getting them a little bit of school schooling and shit. And okay. Do you have a part? You, do you have a card? You I a card? just, I might. Okay, I've got him. a business. He's so I've excited. got a business card. Look at him. <laughs> yes, he's gonna get a card. He's gonna be the hero at the station tonight. Say again. I'm gonna put it on the bulletin at the station. Yeah, you should. Yeah, be be respectful. As long as they respect you, be respectful to them. You know. What's this? Communication is key. That's how we build relationships. Okay. Seeing the man's is what? Seeing the man's Just card. Camera. Oh yeah, there you go. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. This is one of Sam the man. There El Presidente. Yeah, yeah. Put that up on the bulletin up there. Uh, he's really educational. Yes. You, you, you'll Sam you'll learn a lot from him. Transparency. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we press. I'm sorry. I press. We press. We press. We, we press on. Okay. We press harder, and we press now. Yeah. Leslie getting her opportunity. Right. 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 What's your name and badge number? Can you pronounce it for us? Ransom. 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 Yep. Ransom. Man. Thanks. When you when when your parents named you, were they just <laughs> trying to turn you into an extortionist or what? Take it easy, buddy. Take care. What is it? So 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 this guy is a shining example for lawn side, and then you have Barrington, Barrington. who are just a bunch of Goose. clowns. Clowns. Yeah. yeah. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. Well, that, that's, I think that's the guy that was trying to pick somebody off down there. He just wrapped around to kind of like see what was going on. Uh -huh. That was the dude that we initially saw when we parked up. Yes, yes. To, to, to see if he picked somebody. Oh, and then, yeah. then we saw this guy when we pulled up. And, and then we waited around. And yeah. I said, this is a code four, and he smiled at him. Oh, and he's going code back four. this way now. Yeah. Uh, Autobahn's that way, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know where you're going. Press hard here. Press. 